Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build a 105 Thunder Chief. 10 minutes at a time. Alright everybody. I may not look like it, but I've been busy making these little parts. These little things sure are time consuming. I got that one done and glued on. See by the time you make them things and then glass all them edges I got a lot of time in these little dudes you know what I mean and I got them the two little ones glued on but this one I gotta sand yet but before we get too far along I got a couple messages I want to get out one of them to one of my friends in Iceland I want to get a big old shout out to Harry in Iceland. What's up, buddy? Uh, they just had a big old show, air show out there, and he sent me a couple videos of Ollie flying his Eurosport and his Viper. Man, that guy's an awesome pilot. Now, I uh, asked him in his uh, response area, his comment area, if he would uh, uh, post a link. On my video so you guys can see him too and he did an awesome job and camlax has their new website going you guys got to go check it out it's pretty awesome they got a whole page dedicated to, to b1 bob can you believe it <laughs> but there it is uh camlax dash rc.com or you can go to our website. We got a link to them on our website. But they got an awesome old, she's got an awesome old website. So let's get a big old shout out to Monica and Dante, her husband, and her two little cute kids. She's got the cutest little kids, Cameron and Alexa. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> they called me Uncle Bob. <laughs> What's up, kids? <laughs> okay, now we've got to get back to work. Time to get serious. We'll get serious. Get some jet building action going. Okay. Now, see this thing. I had to glass this side, you know, wait for that to dry. Then I had to glass this side, wait for that to dry, trim it, and then glass this little edge here. You know, every side. Had, you know, you gotta wait for it to dry before you can do another side, you know. Not time consuming, but it's done. Got that dude done. And this sits right there. I got me lined down in the, down the middle. Basically took me a big old string and uh, uh, marked it and then slapped my straight edge on it. This thing here, it looks funky. I don't know what it is. It must be like a camera mount or something. I don't know, but it's on the real one. And it's on the plastic one, so we gotta have it on mine. See, you got it, kind of just bulges up there. I think it must be like a gun sight or something. I don't know, or a camera mount. It's got some kind of purpose. And I actually got a couple more little things. Put on here. There's just a lot of little stuff. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my quick and easy, man.
but I don't use it very much because of the dust. You know, you go to town with that DA on a bunch of primer, and you got dust everywhere, and I don't really like my shop getting that dusty. So I just went sand. Here's the one I have to. And you know, that ain't gonna get it smooth. You know, that's just gonna knock all your super high spots off. Wash it down with a sponge. And I'll go over it with some Bondo. You know. And I got a lot of people asking about old John and his cougar. <laughs> I told you you guys had missed that thing when it was gone. And, <laughs> and uh, he's got some servos, okay? And, uh, you know, old John, he's a pretty good old guy, but sometimes I gotta, gotta poke him a little bit. He's one of them like cattle prongs, you know? <laughs> Just gotta give him a little poke every now and then, you know, keep him moving. He likes to sit and look at them things just a bit too much. <laughs> okay, now this is my my super super thin stuff. I like this stuff, and it you know don't shrink and this works good. Now. They sell regular glazing putty. This is some of it here. Now this is red. I mean, they sit beside each other in the store. You can't hardly tell the difference in the package. How you can tell the difference? This stuff comes with a hardener. Okay, and it's just like Bondo. It's just super thin. Feathers, feathers really nice. And kind of flows, you know. Sand's good, I really like this stuff. For, you know, the fine stuff. And basically you got your three types of Bondo. You got your regular Bondo, which is really thick. I use that for big stuff, man. Filling big stuff. Then you got, you got our tube stuff here, which is, is good stuff. But it's kind of a medium, and this is like super fine, man. This is the super fine stuff. And we're just going to get this whole thing. You know, this is going to take a lot of priming out the equation, take a lot of work out of it. Just hit this whole thing, then I'll wet sand it. I won't use that DA no more. Why? Because of the dust. It's everywhere, man. Just dusts up the shop. I just don't like that. Once I get this nice and smooth, I want to try and get this nice and smooth before I glue it on. That way, I can just get the priming. You know. Won't have to do it on the fuselage itself. How many guys out there watch Big Brother? Oh yeah, I'm a Big Brother fan too. <laughs> All I got to say, that Brittany is a light a little. I don't know. I don't want to go too far. Just in case she's watching. <laughs> she's dogging old Brandon. Survivor's about to start again. Football season's almost here. Southwest Jet Rally's coming up. Oh man, this is just going to be, I love this time of year. Football season, Survivor, Southwest Jet Rally. What more can a guy ask for? <laughs> I'm not talking to you, Butch. <laughs> And drama free jet building 10 minutes at a time. Yeah, baby. Little Harry 